All right, with our post-game press conference in the NCAA Division II National Championship game, joining us here at the podium from Valdosta State, head coach Gary Goff in his third season, again, the uh, Valdosta State alum. Uh, joining him on the podium is uh, number nine, Ivory Durham, the 5'10", 200-pound junior quarterback out of Jacksonville, Florida, along with defensive back number 19, Corey Roberts, the 6-foot, 200-pound senior. Just a couple of housekeeping notes. Uh, be sure to silence your cell phone if you've not done so uh, at this point. We will first take an opening statement from head coach Gary Goff. At that point, after he finishes his opening statement, We'll then open up the floor for questions first for the players, so please direct your opening questions to the players only. Once you have asked them an uh, adequate amount of questions, we will dismiss them to the locker room, and then you can ask further questions of Coach Goff. Coach Goff, you know it was a tough game uh, tonight. Uh, what were your thoughts and impressions of tonight's contest? Well, you know, we, um, we ran into a really good football team. I mean, hats off to Fair State. Um, <coughs> They're really good, really good on both sides of the ball. Thought they played a great game, and uh, we obviously didn't. Um, you know, early on we, we were doing some good things, and, you know, we didn't capitalize on, on coming away with a touchdown when they had that first turnover there in the first quarter. Um, and then we just we, we really just couldn't get them off the field, and we couldn't convert on some third downs. Um, you know, we, we started having some injuries pile up, you know, through the course of the game, but ex extremely proud of how the guys continue to battle and play hard. Um you know, when you're playing a really good football team, the margin of error is very small, you know, and, and we made some critical mistakes, you know. Um, they won the turnover battle, and, um, you know, they, they, they did a great job of running the football. We, we, we had no answer for that. And then, you know, for the, the last three quarters, we, we just couldn't get anything going offensively. So it was kind of a perfect storm um, in, in their favor right there. But um, very disappointing game for us, but I'm, I'm extremely proud of this football team. Um, you know, they've had a really good season, and, you know, it, it hurts to see the seniors go out this way, but, you know, they've they got to keep their heads up because, um, you know, they, there's a lot of teams that love to be here right now, um, and, and I'm very proud of how they continue to battle each and every game, and um, we, we just didn't have our best effort tonight, and they did, so hats off to Ferris. All right, Coach Kopp, appreciate your perspective. We'll hear more from you in a moment. At this point, we'd like to open the floor for any questions you might have for Ivory or Corey. Um, they just were, they, they was playing fast, they were physical, um, it was bringing pressure, and like you said, I couldn't get comfortable, so uh, Ferris was a great football team, and they just came to play today. Um, nothing. Uh, everything we seen on film, it, it was there. It's just we made mistakes at times. We couldn't get our timing down. So they did good with knocking our timing with the receivers and just getting in the backfield. Well, honestly, I believe that's what it came down to tonight. Uh, really tackling. Three of those touchdowns you take away if we make the tackle. Um, we still fought hard, but like like you said, uh, we could have tackled a lot better. And I believe, you know, we could have we know we could have stayed in it much longer and possibly pulled it out if we would have tackled better this game. Um, once I got off, well, off after the ankle in, uh, injury, um, it really wasn't, it wasn't nothing really bad. When I got back out there, I was feeling great on my feet. Just, we just wasn't on tonight pretty much. He's not going to tell you this, but, you know, proud of that young man right there. He, uh, he got an AC sprain in his throwing shoulder in the first quarter. Um, that, that's when he came out for a series, but he battled through it, you know, so proud of the way he, he, he um, you know, fought all night for his team, but. Um, that's probably a little reason why he was a little off on some things right there. He, he won't say that, but uh, <laughs> that's the truth to it. Further questions for our student-athletes before they're dismissed to go back to the locker room. Ivory, 
how, how frustrating is it as a passer when they've knocked you guys out of rhythm, just especially on those timing routes? Just what, what can you do to combat that? Just how frustrating is it when that's how they're doing? Um, pretty much just play the next play. You can't get frustrated. We've got four quarters to play, so just play the next play, go to the sideline, talk about it, and just try to get through the game. Um, it meant a lot because honestly, honest to God, this year with Coach Goff, Coach Seymour, Coach Johnson, Yellow, Mr. Marty, we came together as a family. And I know even, you know, this being my senior year, my last college football game, I know I have brothers forever. So it meant a lot to me just to go out there and, you know, go to battle and war with those guys. So it meant the world to me. And I love my team and my coaches. Right. We appreciate you guys coming tonight, uh, talking to us. If you have further questions for any other student athletes, a couple of notes is you can also – uh, the locker room will not be open because, of, again, the COVID guidelines. However, you can request to talk to other players in the tunnel outside the locker room, see Kit Streak, the uh, SID for Valdosta, if you'd like to talk to any other of the Blazers or so outside the tunnel uh, for up to 30 minutes after we've begun this press conference. All right, any questions now that you have for Coach Goff? No, I, it wasn't a moment where I was not going to send him back in. Um, you know, the doctors came to me and said he, he's got a sprain, and, um, you know, they'll see if he can play through it. But there was a moment where he came to me and said, Coach, I, I can't throw it over about 20 yards. So um, I, I did call some short passes here and there for him. And then, you know, I think he got mad. Things weren't going our way. And he said, Coach, open it back up. I'm fine. <laughs> you know, um, he, he's a warrior. He, he's going to do what he's got to do to help this team win. Um He's our leader. You know, the, the, the young man has is, is, um, earned this position. He works extremely hard. His team rallies around him. Um, and, and all season long, even when things didn't go our way, he's never panicked. Um, he's never gotten frustrated on the sideline. He is the one guy on the sideline is always positive no matter what. From their offensive line, yeah, I mean their offense line's talented. They're they're really good. We knew that coming in. Um, we, we know our linebackers gonna have to play a really good game and uh, be locked into their reads. But you know, I, Corey mentioned it, and um, you know, we we couldn't tackle them. We we did not tackle very well tonight. And um, you know, you <laughs> that's the name of the game. You got to block and tackle, and they did that a lot better than we did. Well, I mean, it's tough. It's tough standing in that locker room with 16 seniors and they're bawling their eyes out because they know they're done playing college football. Um, you know, but I, I told them that, you know, we loved them, um, proud of them. It was a great season. It just didn't end the way we wanted it to. Um, and I hope the young, you know, players in the, in the program learn from those, those seniors. They're the guys who have done things right, have worked extremely hard, uh, chose to come back and be a part of uh, of this team, and um, when when they didn't have to, they could have moved on with their their, their lives. But um, you know, they they've obviously kind of continued to to establish that tradition that we've had in our program. Um, you know, our, our mission each and every year is to win a national championship. So um, hopefully, this just makes us hungrier. Ho hopefully, this just pushes us to work that much harder in the off season and, and, and you know, try to get back here. You got to tackle. <laughs> now, um, I hope the biggest lesson is that you know through all the hard work and, and the coaches pushing you and, and getting mad at you for not going to class and wanting you to be the best day in day out. That I really hope the young guys see that you know if they buy into that culture, that the sky's the limit. Um, things didn't go our way tonight, but um, you know we still got a bright future. You know, so I, I hope the young guys see that and it just makes them hungrier and uh, push them to work that much harder. And, and they've got a great leader, and, and, and Ivory Durham is a great leader, and he'll make sure the team works hard. Well, 
Well, you, you saw he was off right there. I, I don't think him and LC have missed on a deep ball all season long. Um, and and he, he missed LC early in the game before he got injured. And then um, the rest of the night it just, just was off, you know. And, and I don't know if he – I'll have to watch the film. I don't know if he got out of the pocket too soon sometimes because of the injury and trying to avoid getting hit. Um, but I do know there in the third quarter he missed LC on a deep ball um, that normally those two connect on. Um, but, you know, that, that – Honestly, it's no excuse. You know, that's 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 not the reason we lost tonight. I mean, uh, Ferris played a, a lot cleaner football game than we did, and um, you know, they're rewarded for it. One final comment, uh, question for Coach Golf, please. I don't. I don't think so. You know, we we practice in the morning, uh, so actually we've had a lot of practices where it's in the the mid forties. You know, so I I don't think that was the case at all, to be honest. All right. If you need additional comments from the uh, Blazers, uh, you can meet Kit out, excuse me outside the uh, Valdosta locker room uh, for additional requests from through Kit and to hear that. Coach Goff, congr- congratulations on a great season. I know it's disappointment tonight, but congratulations. Yeah.